Did you know that Albert Einstein once said, no matter how powerful our telescopes became, humanity would never be able to witness the universe's true beginning? Uh, I guess you didn't then. Instead of distant stars or glowing galaxies, the telescope revealed something far more unsettling, a vast cosmic emptiness. This unexpected void has sparked profound questions. Could this darkness be tied to the very birth of everything that exists? This astonishing discovery may hold vital clues about our origins and the conditions that shaped the early universe. In many ways, it reinforces Einstein's intuition. How can we observe an event that produced no light at all? The moment that gave rise to the universe unfolded in absolute darkness and on a scale so immense that it stretches the limits of human understanding. Modern cosmology proposes that the universe began around 13.8 billion years ago from an incredibly small, dense point. A slight imperfection disrupted its perfect balance, triggering an expansion that eventually formed the universe we inhabit today. Fascinatingly, traces of this primordial state may still exist within black holes. Inside black holes, gravity becomes so extreme that it approaches infinity, overwhelming even our most advanced instruments. Now, with the James Webb Telescope, NASA's most powerful space observatory, we may be glimpsing echoes of that ancient era. Images of a black hole and a massive void from the universe's earliest moments suggest a time before the first stars ignited. Picture the cosmos just after the Big Bang, a blisteringly hot, densely packed sea of particles and radiation, expanding outward at an unimaginable speed. At this early stage, light as we understand it did not yet exist. Photons, the fundamental carriers of light, were trapped in a relentless dance with dense clouds of free protons and electrons, scattering constantly and unable to travel freely through space. It took roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang for the universe to cool enough for the first neutral atoms, mainly hydrogen and helium, to form. Only then could photons finally move unhindered, creating what we now detect as the cosmic microwave background. Even so, the universe was still cloaked in darkness. No stars or galaxies had yet ignited to act as sources of light. Hundreds of millions of years later, a transformative era known as reionization began with the birth of the first stars and galaxies. These young, massive stars burned intensely, flooding their surroundings with powerful ultraviolet radiation that stripped electrons from nearby neutral hydrogen atoms. As hydrogen was broken apart into protons and free electrons, the universe gradually became more transparent to ultraviolet and visible light. Gravity was the driving force behind this transformation, pulling vast clouds of hydrogen and helium together. Within these collapsing regions, pressure and temperature rose dramatically until nuclear fusion sparked in the cores of the first stars. For the first time, the universe was illuminated. The light from these early stars played a crucial role in reionization, steadily clearing the dense cosmic fog of neutral hydrogen that once filled space. Over time, radiation from stars and galaxies spread across the cosmos, ionizing the intergalactic medium. When this process was largely complete, the universe emerged from its dark ages, marking the beginning of the transparent, light-filled cosmos we recognize today. Even with the most sophisticated telescopes ever built, our view of the cosmos reaches only as far back as the moment the universe became transparent, when light was finally able to travel freely through space. For decades, scientists believed this transition occurred about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope the most powerful observatory humanity has ever launched, is pushing beyond long-held assumptions in its quest to unravel the universe's earliest secrets. Armed with 16 precisely engineered, honeycomb-shaped mirrors and state-of-the-art infrared instruments, Webb is capable of detecting faint light that has journeyed across space for an incredible 13.5 billion years. The telescope has already revealed some of the oldest galaxies ever observed. But its latest discovery is even more astonishing, a black hole that existed just 500 million years after the Big Bang. This finding forces scientists to rethink what the early universe was capable of producing. While this black hole is not the largest ever found, it is extraordinarily ancient and unexpectedly massive about 10 million times the mass of our Sun. 
Black holes are often described as regions of extreme emptiness, places where matter seems to vanish entirely. Yet despite their apparent void-like nature, black holes exert an overwhelming gravitational pull, drawing in surrounding matter with incredible force. How can something that appears empty possess such immense mass? Scientists propose that black holes grow by feeding on nearby material or possibly through the influence of an even more mysterious substance, dark matter. Dark matter, much like black holes, cannot be seen directly. Its existence is revealed only through the gravitational fingerprints it leaves on space-time. Adding to the mystery, researchers have observed that this newly discovered black hole is growing at a startlingly fast rate. Exactly how it gained so much mass so quickly remains an open question, one that continues to puzzle astronomers and challenge our understanding of the young universe. If we project the growth rates observed in modern black holes backward in time, this particular object appears paradoxical. It would have to be older than the universe itself. At first glance, such a conclusion seems impossible. Yet some theoretical models suggest that certain components of our cosmos may have existed in a precursor universe, one that predates the Big Bang. It is also entirely possible that black holes formed in the early universe behaved very differently from the ones we observe today. The cascade of discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope has rattled long-standing assumptions and revealed cracks in our cosmological models. Massive black holes growing at astonishing speeds inside galaxies that seem to emerge almost immediately after the universe began defy conventional calculations tied to the Big Bang. Scientists are now confronted with a daunting challenge, one that may ultimately force a fundamental rethinking of how the universe came to be. In response, new ideas are gaining traction while older theories are being reconsidered. One such concept is the theory of variable physical constants, which proposes that the laws of nature were not fixed at the universe's birth. Constants such as gravity or the fine structure constant may have held very different values in the early cosmos, potentially enabling galaxies and black holes to grow far more rapidly than current physics allows. Another compelling framework is quantum gravity, an effort to unite general relativity with quantum mechanics. While relativity excels at explaining the behavior of massive objects and gravity on cosmic scales, quantum mechanics governs the strange rules of the subatomic world. Near the dawn of the universe, when everything was compressed into an unimaginably small and dense state, quantum gravity may have dictated how reality functioned. Yet, the Big Bang theory was largely constructed using Einstein's physics of the very large, even though the earliest universe existed in a regime where quantum effects should have dominated. This disconnect may have introduced fundamental inaccuracies. The surprising observations from James Webb now appear to highlight those very inconsistencies. Ultimately, scientists are facing a complex and fascinating puzzle. The idea of the Big Bang dates back to the 1920s, when Belgian astronomer and priest Georges Lemaitre proposed that the universe expanded from an extremely dense and hot origin, a single primordial point he called the primordial atom. A century later, Webb's discoveries suggest that this origin story may be far more intricate than we ever imagined. This idea gained strong observational backing in the late 1920s when American astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that distant galaxies are moving away from Earth and that the farther away they are, the faster they recede. Scientists interpreted this striking pattern as clear evidence that the universe is expanding. Over time, additional theories were layered onto this discovery, gradually forming the cosmological framework we rely on today. However, much of this framework was built on indirect observations and mathematical models. Today, astronomers are encountering phenomena that no longer fit comfortably within these established boundaries. One of the most intriguing unanswered questions is when the very first black holes formed. Their origins remain uncertain, and multiple competing theories are still under active investigation as scientists work to reconstruct the universe's earliest chapters. One leading theory proposes that the first black holes were born from the deaths of massive Population three stars. The earliest generation of stars formed a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These stars were likely enormous and short-lived, 
ending in powerful supernova explosions that could have left black holes behind. Another possibility pushes their origins even further back in time, suggesting that black holes may have formed before any stars existed at all. In this scenario, vast rotating disks of gas and dust regions that might otherwise have formed stars collapsed directly into black holes under the right conditions. If true, this would mean black holes predate starlight itself. Supporting this mystery are observations of supermassive black holes in the early universe, some weighing millions or even billions of times more than our Sun. Explaining how such colossal objects grew so quickly remains one of the greatest challenges in modern astrophysics. One hypothesis suggests they formed through repeated mergers as smaller black holes collided and fed on surrounding matter. Yet this process still requires abundant stars and material resources that may not have been readily available so soon after the universe began. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope becomes transformative. With its unprecedented ability to peer deeper into space and further back in time than any telescope before it, Webb can reveal the earliest galaxies and quasars powered by supermassive black holes. In essence, it acts as a cosmic time machine, allowing us to observe light that has traveled for billions of years and offering a direct glimpse into the universe's distant past. The discoveries made by James Webb have unveiled surprises no one fully anticipated, confronting astronomers with profound mysteries and urgent questions. As the telescope continues to uncover the secrets of the early universe, the origin of the first black holes stands out as one of the most captivating puzzles of all, challenging everything we think we know and inviting scientists to dig deeper into the hidden layers of space and time.